What's going on, YouTubers? How you doing today? Happy Sunday. As you can tell, or from what I'm wearing, Steelers are on today. AFC Divisional Round against uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. And um, I'm not just going to talk about the Steelers, as you can tell from the, uh, the title of the video. This is just Sunday talk, I guess. That's that's what I'm going to be calling it as soon as I upload this. on uh, Sunday talk or Sunday morning talk. I don't know. Something like that. Um, but yeah, I got my Steelers shirt on. I got the hat. Steelers hat. Nice. Yeah. Got that. Shane Steelers. Steelers on the back. Got a Jesse James. Hey, Jesse James. Jersey. Got Steelers pajama bottoms. This is a Steelers t-shirt. Can't, yeah, you know, they can freaking see it. I can't even do it. Hey, Steelers. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, you know, I also got, so I, this hat just, I just bought this recently. Then I got, I've had this thing for a while. This, this little, uh, I said, I put that on all right? No, I did not. I'm sorry. I put that on the wrong. There we go. Got a nice little mohawk type deal. And this, you got Steelers on the side. I also got a Steelers Santa hat, which I still haven't put away yet. I also got a Penn State Santa hat too, but of course I have to have my Myron Cope. Myron Cope's official terrible towel for the Steelers. Yeah. And then, um, oh, one other thing. Yeah. It's not mine, it's my wife's, I got her for Christmas, is this nice, it's a gold rush color blanket, it's a gold rush color blanket, I got her for Christmas, and then I also got a Penn State one for me, because I'm, yeah. And if that's not enough, I got my Steelers flag hanging out on the car, uh, on, on my flagpole, got a Steelers bumper, or magnet, well, I got a regular Steelers magnet, and then I got um, a magnet that has, you know, the Steelers logo, Penguins logo, and Pirates logo all in one that I found on someone's car. Or I saw I saw it on a car going home back home to Pennsylvania once, and um, at our, the mall back home, that's just pretty much dead, pretty much. But they have this um, Cozy's Sports Emporium, I think it's, I think it's what it's called. And I walked, and I walked in there. I'm like, oh, I'll see if they have it. And I asked, and they, they had it. So I got it. It's pretty cool. And I got two Steelers car flags. So got a Steelers keychain. I, I got I'm Steelers out, man. You know I, that's my team. And if that's not enough, check this out. Come here, Paulo. I haven't got. See, if Apollo's wearing a nice Steelers bandana. No, no one wants to see your butthole, Apollo. See, but I got a nice Steelers bandana for Apollo. And he also has a Steelers sh well, this has a Steelers shirt on, too. But there's a, we have another, we have a, I'll show you Nissa's Steelers shirt. Come here, Nissa. See? And see, Nissa has her Steelers shirt on. She loves it. She loves wearing clothes. Okay, she's going down because she thinks I'm going to feed her right now, but I will have to make the video. But, but yeah, we got them, and then there's another dog shirt, a uh, Steelers dog shirt that we have that my mother-in-law gave us. It's kind of the same color as this, a little gray, and has a Steelers logo on the back. Sometimes I make Apollo wear it, but Apollo hates wearing clothes. He tolerates the bandanas, but he hates wearing clothes. All right, Apollo? You hate wearing clothes, I know. Oh, he's going to sit on my lap. Look at that. He's going to sit on my lap. Yeah, he's looking. He's so handsome. But, oh, there he goes. So, like I said, the Steelers are playing today. Playing the Jacksonville Jaguars in Hinesfield in Pittsburgh. Should be a good game. Um, as if you don't know, Steelers already played Jacksonville back in week five. I think that game was also at that was also in Pittsburgh, I think, wasn't it? Let me let me do a quick Google search here, because I'm pretty sure the that Week five game was also uh, a home game for the Steelers. 
Um, let me look here. Yes, it was. And so that also was a home game for the Steelers. And we we lost. The Steelers lost that game, uh, thirty to nine, which was horrible. But you know, we I think you know Ben wasn't playing his best. Um, they didn't have some key players at all. Um, you know, but this time is today's going to be different. I, I guarantee it. Um, it's playoffs, and you know the playoffs. You know the, the Jaguars. You know I don't remember the last time the Jaguars played in a playoff game, but you know it's been a while for them. And you know the Steelers are in the playoffs usually every year. Well, I'll it up. But you know the Steelers are usually in the playoffs every year, um, whether it be a divisional round like today or usually it's the like uh, you know we we get we have what uh, the first playoff game for us is like a wild card game. And then most of the time we win that game and then we move on to the divisional round and then we lose and then we lose that game. Um, but, you know, I, I think I think we're good today. I think we're going to, uh, you know, I, I'm very comfortable, com comfortable of Steelers winning today. They're, um, you know, they're, they're good in playoffs. Um, you know, they didn't have to play a, a wild card game. You know, like a week after the regular season ended, so they had a first round bye. They had a lot of time to rest. I think we're good. Um, you know, Jacksonville played last week and, and they beat the Bills um, in the wild card round. You know, that's why we're playing Steelers today. But I think the Steelers are good. Uh, Antonio Brown's going to be back today. He's, you know, he he's 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 he's, he's going to be ready. Um, there was rumors of him being sick. Well, I mean, I guess he was sick earlier this week, but. You know, I don't think that's going to affect him playing today. I think he's going to be out there and playing. Now. It's, and um, um, and then there's, um, there's, a whole, there's a so you know so I think we're going to be good. Then we win today. We got to play Patriots next week in Foxborough, and it's going to be a rematch for for the Steelers because Patriots beat us and you know a couple you know a couple of weeks ago in, at, at, in Pittsburgh and. You know, so the Steelers are going to be hungry. They're going to be ready. They they, they want revenge on today's game and the Patriots. So, and I think it's going to happen. Steelers are going to win the Super Bowl. You heard it here first. Hopefully, but um, so you know, obviously last night I was rooting for the Titans to beat the Patriots, but it didn't happen. Um, I think, and then uh, the Eagles beat the Falcons yesterday, which was good because. The, the only reason, you know, the only uh, Philadelphia team I, I like for professional sports, actually, the only Philadelphia Philadelphia team I like for any sport is the Sixers because that's the only professional basketball team the NBA has in Pennsylvania. If they didn't, if they had a team in Pittsburgh, I would be that fan, you know, a fan of them. But they don't, so Sixers are my team. But, you know, the only reason I was rooting for the Eagles last night is because it would be cool. Eagles NFC, Steelers AFC, and you know it'd be cool if they met in the Super Bowl and and be like you know in state in state a uh, Super Bowl type deal. That'd be cool. So we'll see. They they won they won um, beat the Falcons last night. Um, but then again, you know the, um, you know Steelers and Jags play at one, and then the Vikings and Saints play at four. 30-ish or something like that. So it's going to be a good game. Um, there's a lot of rumors about, you know, the whole thing with um, this past week with Le'Veon Bell. He was uh, talking because, you know, this year he's on a franchise tag with the Steelers. And um, the Steeler, well, you know, because, you know, they were negotiating his contract last year during training camp, and he never showed up to training camp or preseason or anything like that. So. Um, and there are a lot of people got mad, but, you know, I could understand because, you know, he wants to get paid because he's the, the best, uh, you know, he's one of the best, if not the best running back in the NFL. And, you know, he proved it this year and, you know, he needs, he wants to be paid. And he was saying the other day, uh, Thursday that, um, if the Steelers franchise tag him, he's either going to be sitting out the season or he's going to retire or, you know, 
be a free agent or whatever, go to another team. But I think after this season, especially, like, even if the Steelers, like, if the Steelers even, you know, if they, if they like, especially if they make it to the Super Bowl, if they make it to the Super Bowl and and they lose the Super Bowl for whatever reason, then I, you know, I I don't, you know, it be the Steelers would be crazy not to give them an actual four or five year contract. You know, it's because you know he is a key factor in the whole season of of winning these games. You know, and it's it's I, you know, the Steelers need. I think the Steelers. Would be crazy not to give them an actual four year, four or five year contract if, you know, even even if they lose, if even if the Steelers lose lose the Super, Bowl. you know, obviously if they win the Super Bowl, they should still give them a four or five year contract. But I hope it, have, it comes like that. I hope we hope they do it right and Bell keeps and we keep and Bell stays. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Um, and then earlier this week, Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, was saying about you know a lot of people keep asking about if this is this his last season and and all this other fun stuff and he actually uh, said himself that today's game is is most likely not going to be his last home game at Heinz Field so that's the hint of him pro- most likely coming back next season um, and actually on a CBS games on CBS by the way and um, the um, um, in, at one, but at twelve they're doing. You know they have the football crew and they have Bill Cower who used to coach was uh, was the head coach before Mike Tomlin at, for the Steelers, and um, you know he interviewed Ben Roethlisberger earlier this week, and um, you know I guess uh, he was saying you know I guess you know that was like one of the questions that Ben or that Bill Cower asked Ben say you know is this going to be your last season or whatever so. Um, at 12 o'clock, I'm going to be watching that, um, and seeing, and hopefully, you know, we get a, you know, hopefully, uh, Ben gets a good answer, so, but, let's hope the Steelers can do it this week, this, today, and they should, hopefully he can get to the Super Bowl and win it, get a seventh one, um, but, another thing, let's see, so that's football, I'm done talking about football. Um, another thing I want to talk about is, you know, as you know, as you know, my channel, my YouTube channel, I talk about a lot of things, you know, football, trains, trucks, hiking stuff, heathen stuff, random bullshit, I don't know, you know, my, on the topic of trains, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I'm a subscriber to Trains Magazine, and I just got this DVD yesterday, and it was delayed for a while, for a week. It's supposed to be here on Monday, but it never showed up. Um, but it came yesterday, and uh, it's Trains Heavy Holds. And it's pretty much about, you know, uh, uh, talk, like they talk about, you know, the different products that um, trains haul. Like, you know, every freight, you know, intermodal, grain, rock. Sand, um, crude oil, ethanol, uh, plywood, automobiles, coal. Um, is it coal? Well, you know, everything, you know, pretty much a lot, like all the stuff that trains all, they talk about it and they give like stati- statistics and facts about it. So, um, and it's narrated by uh, Steve Sweeney. From Trains Magazine, I think he's the editor of the magazine, and you know he also does uh, the Trains Newswire with another guy. I forget the other guy's name. Um, every week on Trains uh, website, so um, if you um, are, you know, if you follow, you know, Trains Magazine, you go on if you're on Trains Trains Magazine's website, um, when you watch their Newswire. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, about Steve Sweeney, but he narrates it, does a good job with it. Um, so that's that. Um, something else I want to talk about. What was the other things I want to talk about here? Um, I don't know. 
Oh, yeah. Got a haircut. <clears throat> yeah, I had to get a haircut yesterday. My hair was getting long, and, you know, I meant to do it over break for between semesters for, and stuff for, at, at, from college, but never got to it. And then you, Friday it was, my wife was sitting on the couch. She's like, you need a haircut. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> So we got a haircut yesterday, went to the, and then um, I got an eye doctor appointment yesterday too, because these glasses are old. I mean, I've had them since October 2016, and I just noticed this like earlier, just a couple days ago, where I could be sitting on my laptop, like right here, my feet kicked up, my laptop's on my lap, and, you know, it, it, it kind of happens like in the after, late afternoon or early evening where it starts, but, like, laptop will be right in front of me, or a piece of paper will be right in front of me, or a product with lettering and words on will be in front of me, and I know what the words say, but it's blurry, <laughs> and I was like, oh, man, my eyes are getting bad, man, I'm getting old, I'm almost, like, I'm 29, I'm gonna be 30 in October, so I'm like, man, I need, so I went, <clears throat> and I had my hair cut, went, my wife and I, she went with me, um, and I got a uh, eye, eye doctor or eye appointment, and my <laughs> my eye prescription changed so much, man. Oh man, it's like it it changed <laughs> a lot. And it's funny because my eye appointment I had back in October 2016, they had that for they they had that for two years. Like that was good for two years, and you know, two years hasn't even. The two years aren't even gone by yet for it, so, um, and it's, so, it changed, and then we went next door, because, you know, I go, uh, it's because like we live on base, uh, on Fort Gordon, and we went to the PX to get my haircut, and, my, and they have an eye doctor at the PX as well, and, uh, optometrist, uh, for optical center for glasses, and I, I went, Next, you know, they're right next to each other. So I went over and looked at glass and looked at glasses. And, you know, I got something similar. These are like the Randy Randy Jackson model glasses, but um, I forget what the brand I got. But you know, these are you know, I got something similar to like this style. Like the, I like the, the the nice sturdy frame like that and the whole frame around the lens instead of half frame. You know, I like those like these style glasses. Um. You know, I, I'm, and I'm not particular about what brand they are, like Ray-Bans or Oakley's or anything like that. I don't care about that. You know, as long as they, I like them and they look good on me and, you know, they're, they'll hold up, I'm, I'm fine. And, you know, they're having a buy one, going free. And, you know, my, the frame, I forget what it's called, but it starts with the B. They're like 54 bucks. So, and, um... My wife and, and uh, the, the lady that was helping us said, oh, yeah, we're doing a buy one, get one free. You can, you know, and she gave us the details. So I got uh, two glasses, the same, same frame and everything, but one sun, one's prescription sunglasses, one's regular sunglasses. Um, so, and um, it was like 400 bucks, but, you know, that's not bad, actually. And it's funny, my wife, my wife, my wife is the financial keeper of, the, of of us two <laughs> between us two i'm horrible with money i'm like my mom I, my my wife is like my dad my, my, my they, they like to save and I like, to, and I like my mom and i like to spend but whatever but you know so she's the keeper of the money and i am sitting down with the uh you know and they you know once she once the lady rang us up 400 some dollars my wife went over, you know, swiped the card, and she's like, "Happy anniversary, dear!" Because, like, our anniversary is coming up next month on on February 26th. Been married for eight years, and she's like, "Happy anniversary, dear!" I'm like, "Man, nah, that's fine. My anniversary present, I don't care." And then she was telling me that, "Oh, if I needed glasses, you know, I, you know, that's like, like what, like her and I, like what we paid for mine." glasses and stuff that's like the bare minimum that she would pay too for herself for like that so not a bad deal um so yeah i got a haircut got getting new glasses hopefully they come this week i can pick them up because 
Yeah, I need them. Um, I don't know what else. I guess that's it. I'm going on 20 minutes here, so I gotta get do go do stuff. I gotta go feed the dogs here because uh oh, Paul jumped back up behind me. He's right here. See, he's right here. Let me grab him a little bit. Hey, Paul is right here. He hang out with me. Nissa jumped down. She's out in the dining room waiting for me to come out there to give give her 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 uh, her dog food for the day. Because they get a half a cup of dog food every day, so she's waiting for me. Then they got to clean out the kitchen for breakfast, and then got to make start making spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs, huh, Paul? Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, Paul. He's excited. All right, well, we're going to head out. We're, we're going to sign off here. Oh, what's up? Say bye, Paolo. Say bye, Paolo. Say nope. Uh, I'm not saying bye. <laughs> He's cute. All right. Take it easy, YouTube. See you next time.